Uh, yeah, we met uh, after school, after the, the ac academy, and uh, we were in this atelier with more people, and uh, the day left, some of them, and so we stayed uh, in this atelier, and we did work on uh, project-based uh, things. So when I have a project, I ask René to, to join, and when he has a project, he asks me to join, and so we could uh, solve each, other, each other's problems in a way. That was a, a kind of starting point. point. Yeah, it's called uh, Our World as a Toolkit. Yeah, I would say it's a little bit obvious to, to see what kind of material we use. Uh, we, will, uh, we look around what we can use or not use for making things. Uh, improvise with, with the material. Just uh, play a little with the material to, so you get these uh, yeah, objects, used objects in a way. And it's, it's only not only about recycling but also we like the idea that uh, because the before the material already had another purpose, you get a, a, a new uh, more you get more emotion in the in the in the product. So you get a, you can make a new you can play with the, the with the meaning of the material, and uh, yeah, some things are if you buy wood from the shelf then it's just wood, but if you use used wood then you can play with what it ha what the purpose has been before, and we we like that. Yeah, maybe the space is not so important. I think that you, this presentation you could also put in another space. But maybe, maybe, what, what, yeah, maybe one answer could be is that we, uh, we first had the idea to uh, the, the the presentation had to be a very we wanted to make it very light because some of the pieces are made of concrete so we thought it was interesting to make a combination between a very light material and uh, the very heavy objects and uh, so we finally came up with this idea to work with the plastic cups. And maybe since they are so vulnerable, we thought it could be a good idea to concentrate it in the middle so that you can walk around. So we, we could also have chosen to make more uh, connection to the space so you get a, a path to walk in between the works. But since it is so vulnerable, uh, we thought it better to concentrate it in one spot so you have less of a chance to uh, step on it. And that was also a choice to, to put uh, we, we, we uh, do the, the, the real thing and we do uh, models. So the, the, the play with uh, a big thing and a small thing mm -hmm. and, the, and the worlds you get uh, by putting some two near each other and some uh, away from each other. So you can, there you can look yeah, in different way to, to the things itself. So you create in a way sometimes different worlds. Yeah, that's a little bit what I already saw said about that the things are positions. Uh, you have the uh, r real size things, and you have the, these models. So we want to mix the different worlds in a way. So, and <coughs> when you walk around it, you can make other combinations with the work. So you get, you can play with yeah you know, with the different worlds. What's what's existing uh, in this field. But also, I think uh, first it was important that uh, the material to build with was uh, very cheap. The every cup is only one cent, so it's uh, very cheap to work with. And um, I think the way of making is strongly related to some of the objects also in the space. That like we, as the like you, you can see the the tennis ball is like the same kind of principle, repetition of the same. Uh, Object and the blanket, uh, the blank, uh, the blanket carpet also. 
So it's uh, it's so and the and the chest of drawers also. In that way, it's the 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 and the, the we call it the spot is related to to the products itself in a way. So it's the same principle by making taking one small thing and expand it. You try, you try to choose the best material for this for the specific problem that you are working on. The the, the carpet, eh? this made of old uh, blankets, and when we uh, started with it, uh, it was for a commission for uh, an institute for elliptic people. So we thought we may have to make something soft, and they have the day treatment there, and uh, yeah, make something soft and has a relation to home in a way. So we found yeah, a blanket, everybody has sleep under a blanket, so you can always pick your own blanket out of it. So that was a kind of idea. So in that way, uh, we look, uh, we have a story and we look for the material. And, but sometimes it's the other way around. We have the material and then the, the common story. So sometimes we see the product more as a, a, f a format uh, in which the outcome of the product is always different, and that's the good thing about the the second-hand material. Like for the for the for the carpet, it's impossible to make two carpets exactly the same. It's just not. But that is also the value. So you always, uh, when you produce a carpet, the carpet, the piece will always be a unique one, and you are the only one that has this one. And we, of course, and also we like the idea that the material is super cheap. So the and the concrete is uh, the, this building is also made of concrete. It's it's, a, it's largely available, very cheap material. But by treating it the way we do, yeah, you cre create a new uh, value. You know, what Theo said before, it's more, for us it's more about the storytelling, about how you, how you transform it and you, get a new, you create a new meaning, then I think that is, itself is more important than the ec ecological as aspect, because we make, from the pieces we make very few, so our recycling is not going to solve the ecological problem in the world. I mean, that is something that is more for uh, for big industries, I think, and maybe our pieces are more, can more, more be a symbol of the mentality. But in the meantime, like these, these pieces are, some pieces are uh, already quite old, but in the, in the meantime, industry is already changing. And you cannot, often you cannot see from the outside that it's being made of a recycled material, for example, when it comes to an industrial process. Yeah, and it's not in, in that sense. It's not only about uh, recycling, but also creating your own life in a way. For example, the rack here, yeah, you can build it yourself in a way. Yeah, just uh, you, you throw how, how many clothes you throw away in your life. So when you stack them, you have already a chair. In the beginning, when we were thinking of a title, we also thought of the title uh, "Try This at Home," because often when you uh, have a product, you shouldn't uh, open it. You shouldn't. You shouldn't do anything because it's dangerous. But we like to invite people to to make their own things. So it's very small scale. Yeah, for for example, uh, the 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 barn, the city ranch, that's uh, one of the last projects, and that's yeah, it's going to be made in in a neighborhood in Holland, and the idea behind this more that uh, that it can be a meeting point for the neighborhood, so the people can have the party there, of uh, because there is a pizza oven, so you can uh, bake off pizzas. So it's more about get together and uh, have a feast in a way. We do pub public space projects and in the meantime we try to develop our own products. 
but often it is, it is uh, mixed. Yeah, and for the public space, we, we often yeah, create places where people can uh, join or can meet. For example, the fence, it was for a school, and uh, there was a fence around the school, so the idea was uh, already from uh, and when, you, when everything can be material, also the fence can be your material. So in that way, we use the fence or reuse the fence to make seats and uh, meeting point in it. Depends on the on the product. So, like for the carpet, we uh, we have developed the method of making it, and now we hire people that come in our studio and they make it. But uh, the fence is being made by a company that makes fences. So uh, often we, in the, in the bamboo chair, uh, we make the prototype and now a carpenter uh, produces it. So it, it, it depends. The glass we do yeah, ourselves. We make ourselves. Yeah. There are some things you, it's difficult to, to outsource in a way. So the chest of drawers, a cabinet maker can make it. So that's no problem. But just so, so the foam uh, things, yeah. At the moment, we have to do it ourselves because there's no industry. We have the knowledge. Yeah. There's no industry who can do that that way. Mm 